Um, I'm now going to ask Sarah Blanchard to join me here on the couch in the living room at the Author Castle. Sarah Blanchard, hello. Hello. Sarah is the author of Flex Mom, The Secrets of Happy Stay-at-Home Moms. So tell us all the secrets. Um, you have two minutes. So Go. <laughs> tell us about this book. Who is it for? What's it about? So the book is introducing a third model of motherhood. It's somewhere between working mom and stay-at-home mom. And the book is really for moms who feel like they've lost like a little sense of themselves after they've become parents, who feel like their lives are a little lower on the priority scale of life. And but very high on the mac and cheese scale. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Animal and crackers, pa pa Ziploc bags. I think the young comes first before taking care of yourself and figuring out how you present yourself to the world. Now flex moms is all like people who are flex mom. Um, it's a lot about the mindset, and it's about the process of rediscovering yourself after motherhood. And a flex mom knows the skills and structures you need to have to really clear the space in your life to continue to, to pursue your passions, even while you're raising your kids and prioritizing your family. So tell us a little bit about your life, if you're comfortable. Sure. Are you a mom? Are you a flex mom? What's your journey on the flex mom? Life? I am a flex mom. I came to this point from the stay-at-home mom perspective. You know, I had a Did you always know you'd be a stay-at-home mom? I think in the back of my head, I wanted to be, but I also knew that I was supposed to be successful and have a career and be a strong woman, and, and it was a tough decision to make to become a stay-at-home mom, but it made sense for our family, and so I did it, and I didn't expect that it was going to be as hard mm. as it was to be at home. You know, you expect to be tired. You don't have to work. Oh, right? You need bonbons all day. You get to stay home with your kids. Yeah, you're so lucky. So you can't really complain a lot about it, right? Because everybody sees it as a privilege, which it absolutely is. Not everybody can afford to be at home. And so I was really lucky to be able to do that. But it was really difficult to stay at home with the kids and talk to a baby all day long and not have, like, the contribution to society. Mm. And then not really feel like I had the space to do what I wanted to do to take care of myself. And so, given the irony of it, being a life coach and positive psychology mm -hmm. enthusiast, I really worked hard to figure out how you do that, how you incorporate like, the routines and, and the habits in your life to keep the space and, and figure out what you want to do with yourself while you still inspire your kids and raise them and take care of them. Love it. If you have kids and have been looking for that model in between being a stay-at-home mom and a working mom. Maybe there are other alternatives. Um, you're definitely uh, going to want to get a copy of Sarah Blanchard's book, Flex Mom. I'm going to tell you something I think is interesting about your book is just the conversation that it provokes. So in my family, we have, I have three sisters, or I have two sisters, there's three of us. One is a stay-at-home mom. One is a, a nurse, so she you can't really work from home when you're a nurse. Sure, be a very interesting job. Um, so my sister's a nurse anesthetist, and then I'm a working home mom. So I work here at the castle, and my kids here, and we have three different models of motherhood. But having the flex mom book and being able to have that conversation and not putting as women not putting each other into a box. Like in my family, we've had questions about who's doing it right. Or even feelings, like myself, about like, well, I'm doing it right. No, she's doing it wrong. And I think what's so amazing about the Flex Mom model, especially if you have somebody you love, a friend or a family member, I think sisters, this comes up with a lot, and you want to have a really meaningful conversation, I think you should get the book, but I also think you should copy-paste the link you see on the screen, send it to your friend or your sister, and do... I don't know if you thought about this, but doing like just a book club for two or three. Yeah, sure. Discuss out concepts. Right? Because I think it's such a powerful conversation that nobody has time to have because we're sticking, you know, cheese its in the black bags. Right. <laughs> well, and I like that you can really, it's, you know, in some ways it might be another label, but it's not, it's not meant to be a label. It's meant to be a mindset and a, and a place to be flexible really, and do what you think works best for yourself and your family to make it work. Yeah. So, so powerful. So you guys ask your questions about being a flex mom for sure right now while I've got Sarah on the couch with me or any questions about writing a book. Um, I'm wondering um, for you, this is a question from Eric, but 
How did you overcome feelings or beliefs like, who am I to write this book, or who's going to want to hear what I have to say? Oh, Is that something <laughs> that ever crossed your mind? <laughs> Absolutely. Doesn't that cross the mind of everybody? And it's the number on one there? thing that I hear from authors. You know, one of the things that I found actually really helpful was your process. When you said at the beginning, when I was formulating a, a clearer concept for what I wanted to write about, you really pushed me to say, what are you an expert about? Like, mm -hmm. really? What are you feeling like you have experienced and can bring into the world that you can stand behind? And I think every time the self-doubt would creep in, I would remember, well, I've, I've lived through this. And I've this interviewed part I, got. That I, I know that this is a thing in the world, and there are women who live in this space. And to have a community and a group that we can hold space for each other with, it made me just sort of go, you know, we can do this. So, yeah, you do have the doubt, but then you just go, I'm here. I got yeah. It. yeah, I'm going to do this anyway. Yeah. So, feel the fear, Eric, definitely, and do it anyway. Sarah Blanchard is the author of Flex Mom, The Secrets of Happy Stay-at-Home Moms. If you know a, a mom who you think could be happier, send this to them, share it to them, download it. It is free today. Sarah Congratulations. Thanks for hanging out in the living room at the Author Castle with me. Fantastic.